Okay, today we're going to be using biot feathers and showing you how to use them within your headpiece. So we're just using this headpiece as an example. So we have a selection of colours available here. And they are 450 per quarter metre. So I'm just going to show you using one here how to place it in. So you could buy a quarter metre, which would measure it about as so. And including in that amount, you'd have enough feathers to do actually probably up to two headpieces if you want, or a lot of drama in the one headpiece. So I'm just going to show you, you can either open the ribbon from the base, but they're very simple just to pluck straight out. Your feather will pop out, it doesn't rip your stem or anything. But to open up a bite, you simply take it from the tip and you run your fingers down along, which opens up the stem of the feather. So you can see the difference when it opens. Beforehand they just look like long stems, but once it's actually opened you can see the actual feather on it. Now it's up to you what you want to do with them. You can include several feathers into your piece. You can do them quite long and have them hanging out from it. But you can also swirl them as well to create nice shapes. Or you could have maybe one at the side. Or you could bring it into the centre. I'm going to do three just to show you how it would look centering them in. So I'm going to pluck out another two. And I'm also going to open these ones again from the stem to top. Just run your fingers down along. Sometimes when you hold it from the top, this little bit can snap off. Don't worry if that happens because you can still just run your fingers along, you see. So that's two feathers open. You can see the way they start to curl on themselves. Like so. So then you can decide how you want to assemble them into the piece. So I'm going to curl one and have two coming upwards. You decide the position of where you'd like to centre them into it. And then you can just place them back down and then you can either attach them in by sewing them or by glue. The glue gun would probably be the best because it's easier to get the glue onto the end of it than it would be in comparison of trying to get a needle and thread right through the stem of that without cracking it. We also have the glue guns here at Vibes and Scribes, which can be purchased, and the glue sticks as well. So you just put a little tip of glue on, wrap your glue around. You have about five seconds, maybe up to ten, before your glue dries, so you can pick your position before you actually put the glue on to decide where you want it to go. I'm just going to bring it in down behind the flower, and then you just bring your flower back on top, twist it into the angle you want it to stay, and just hold it for a few seconds. I'm going to repeat this as well with this one, only this is the one I want to curl over into a circular shape. So I'm going to take the stem from the base and the tip, holding the both of them together, and put a tiny bit of glue again on. And then lift my base back and place that in. If one of it pops out at one side, don't worry about it, you can just glue it in again afterwards. And then for my third one, just to get a position on it, I'd like for that to sit in here. But if you have a look, it's looking very long, so I'm just going to actually cut it shorter just so that it falls in line with the other pieces. So just deciding the length it wants it to be. It'll be about there. Now I'm just going to attach a little bit of glue. If you wanted to afterwards, you could also curl this further one if you felt you wanted the two in. I'm going to leave them up for the height and the length in it. You could add more where you swirled more the entire way around. You could create a beautiful flower shape where you brought them the entire way around your centerpiece if you wanted to as well. 